this is AJ Powers here with Powers Premier Real Estate. Today I'm with one of my top agents, Aaron Kribis. Aaron, how's it going? Oh, doing really well, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Oh man, appreciate it. Really excited to be here. Awesome, so today we're gonna talk about VA loans. I know we do almost half our business is VA at this point. So uh, tell me about VA, like what, what are things if you were either active duty or out, what are the things that you should know about the VA loan? Uh, well, first and foremost, you know, it's probably one of the most underutilized home loans out there. Um, I don't think enough of the military personnel actually know about it. And some of the biggest benefits are going to be just right out the door is the zero down. You don't have to come in with anything down unless you're, you know, you're past the 49, uh, the seven or 649, 750. Right. So anything outside of that, you just have to come up with 25%. But I mean, coming in, you know, you can definitely get something single family in that in that kind of price range close to base so we'll detail that a little bit more so in san diego county 2018 up to six hundred forty nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars zero down if you're va as long as you've got the benefit and you qualify so you talked about that 25 percent down um just to give everyone else kind of an idea what that looks like so let's just say you're buying a house for 749 750 which is a hundred grand over that uh, limit. Sure. That means you only have to come up with 25% of that difference. So 25,000 down to buy a $750,000 home. I mean, that's phenomenal. It's, exactly. It's huge. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely one big thing. No down payment. The other thing that stands out to me is no mortgage insurance, right? I mean, yeah. the rates and the mortgage insurance, those two things make it so affordable. Yeah. So mortgage insurance is is completely out of the picture. You know, your standard FHA and conventional loans, do you have the, the mortgage insurance? Your conventional, obviously, if you go 20% down, um, you know, the mortgage insurance is waived. But with the VA, you actually have what's called a funding fee. And the funding fee, if you are, you know, um, you know 10% more, or, or if, you're, if you have a 10% disability, then it's actually waived. Right. So, you know, literally, you don't have to, you know, pay any additional fees. If you do have that disability, you do have that funding fee waived, and you're just coming in straight with zero down. Yeah, and the other nice thing is, even if you need to pay the funding fee, which is like a one-time upfront fee, a lot of times we just roll that onto the back of the loan, so it's still zero down. It's just a little bit extra on top because that's kind of like the VA's protection where, you know, if you were to default on that loan, they've got some money on the back where at least they're going to get that funding fee to reimburse the lender, whoever, if, if you should default. But, I mean, I think you mentioned it. So many people are not aware uh, that they have the benefit, how it works. I mean, I think people think I'm either I'm active duty, I don't qualify, or now that I'm out, I don't qualify. But basically, as long as you were in long enough and you've got that benefit, you can use it over and over and over. Exactly. And so as far as like situations, when are the times when a home wouldn't qualify for VA? Or uh, you know, what are the, the main guidelines for that VA loan if someone's looking to use it? Uh, main guidelines is you know active military or retired. Uh, you can't be you know, dishonorably discharged, you do have to have, you know, a, a clean slate across the board uh, to get, you know, qualified for the, the VA home loan. Uh, your credit score has to be, you know, somewhat average, you know, it could, you could come in with a little bit lower and then also the, uh, your actual interest rate, you know, so you have a, a little bit less of an interest rate, making it, you know, extremely easy to, to qualify for it. Um, yeah, I mean, some of the things that stand out to me and we don't use this that often, but VA, you can actually go down to 580 FICO score depending on your lender, which is, Phenomenal. Yeah. Um, you know, on top of that, they can use the most amount of someone's income to qualify. So debt to income is the ratio of 60%. how much you make versus your expenses. And uh, most like conventional and FHA products, they're capping at like 50% of your gross income. And with VA, I've seen 61, 62%. Yeah. So yeah, that's 10 or 12% more of their income that they're using to qualify for them. So, you know, there's so many things with this VA program that I wish people were just more educated on. And uh, whether that be us educating or the military educating everyone in the military of their benefits. I think it's a product that you mentioned not enough people use. I mean, if if I could, I would uh, find a way to get in for a year if that meant I could use yeah. the, the VA loan. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. And I think anyone that's either been in or out of the military should take a look at it because you can get in, especially today, like North County, you can find a home that's almost identical to your rent. So Absolutely. you can walk in with no deposit, uh, you maybe pay for a home inspection and appraisal, yeah. but other than that, I mean, you're talking a thousand bucks, you own a home. Exactly. Exactly. So, it's huge. So uh, last thing I want to hit on would be uh, condition wise or particular like VA, if you're buying a condo or town home, tell us like what that looks like. Why do you need an agent to figure out if this is going to go VA? 
So some of the, the actual you know, complexes and condominiums actually don't allow the VA home loan. Um, for what reason, you know, I don't really know. It is a very safe loan. Um, but you, know, you do have to go in and figure out whether it's VA approved because you know, a lot of the times you'll, you'll, somebody will get excited on, on the actual property and then you go in and it's actually not VA approved. So you know, it's definitely up to us to make sure that we're you know, not only showing properties, but we're also making sure that those properties are VA approved. Right. So they, uh, to clarify, the VA has a list that we go on to as agents and we can pull up the development name and find out if they're exactly. approved, if it's expired. And usually it just comes down to the HOA didn't spend the money to actually get the complex approved. Exactly. Uh, which, you know, the other thing that we've done in the past and we can do again is get a particular development VA approved, which I think is huge because our lenders do this for free, no cost to the buyer. So if, if John Smith wants to go buy this home, but it's not VA approved, we have the ability to go in there and get that approved for them, which... I think for us really adds a lot of value when we talk about military clients. Absolutely. Um, the, the last thing being you know, detached homes, the only things people really ever gonna need to make sure it's turnkey, being that you can walk in and live in it. It can and be dirty, it could be an old home, it just needs to be livable. And then the termite clearance. Exactly. So, one. Yeah, so if there's any kind of dry rot or active infestation, it's gonna be taken care of before closing. A lot of times, almost every time we negotiate the seller to pay for that. So, exactly. You know, I think, again, on a, a closing note here, if you've been in, if you're reserves, if you're out, give us a call. Let's talk about yeah, it absolutely. because you, if you haven't used that benefit, you should. If you've used it before, you can use it again. So exactly. let's, let's talk to anyone that's been in or out about their benefits and how we can help. Uh, I think if, if people have questions, the best thing to do is just give us a call. Absolutely. Uh, so you can reach out to us at our office at 760-615-0151 or you can email myself or Aaron. I'm AJ at powerspremier.com and Aaron at powerspremier.com. Yep. Uh, appreciate your time and thanks for giving us that information. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks.